The arrest of Rosa Parks and the Montgomery bus boycott in 1955 are cornerstones of the civil rights movement. And the lawyer who represented those plaintiffs in the lawsuit that is considered a hallmark of the American judicial system was attorney Fred Gray, whose dedication to civil rights began well before taking the bar exam. But I was going to take it, pass it, become a lawyer, and destroy everything segregated I could find. Destroying everything segregated he could find didn't end in Montgomery. In Selma, when a young John Lewis and the Freedom Riders were beaten and arrested at the Edmund Pettus Bridge on what we know as Bloody Sunday, it was Gray whom they called. Went to Selma that night and they retained me to represent them. Gray successfully defended his friend Martin Luther King Jr. on tax evasion charges in front of an all-white jury. In 1932 in Tuskegee, Alabama, the United States government began a study of the effects of syphilis on black males without telling any of the men the truth that the research being done was all a hoax. And they were promised whatever they found wrong with them, they would give them medication for it. And in 1974, Fred Gray successfully represented survivors and the heirs of participants in a landmark case that resulted in a multi-million dollar settlement. But the study would also fuel widespread distrust by African Americans of federal government health initiatives. Distrust that continues to this day with the ongoing COVID-19 vaccination effort. If they don't want to take the vaccine, cannot take it, but don't say you're not taking it because of what the federal government did in the Tuskegee Sifter study. A recent Pew survey shows that 61% of African Americans now say they will get or have gotten the COVID-19 vaccine, which is up sharply from 42% back in November. And knowing those men, the last thing they would want any of us to do is to not get vaccinated to keep from getting a deadly disease because of what they suffered in the Tuskegee syphilis study. Now 90 years young and still practicing law in Alabama, we asked the trailblazer how he wants history to remember him. I'd like for them to remember me as a one of those lawyers who saw problems that existed in this community and did everything he could to eradicate those problems. Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.